<laughs> you summoned me? Interesting. What could you possibly want? Let me guess. Boo! <laughs> You're too easy. Sorry, sorry, it was my bad. I couldn't resist the temptation when you look so scared. I'm here, Hanako the Toilet Ghost. The seventh of the seven wonders of this school. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You wouldn't be afraid of ghosts now, would you? Then why'd you go looking for me, you dummy? Well, at the bright side of things, at least you are blessed with good looks. Maybe not the brains. But I could help with that. Maybe get you a book that you could study. Maybe you'll ace your next test. <laughs> I don't mean anything bad by all this, but you kind of earned this place. You did summon me. I do like that. It's interesting having you around. I'm sure you'll keep coming back for more. Then again, a wish has a cost attached to it. You better keep that in mind before you make a decision you don't enjoy. It'd be a shame, wouldn't it? I'd have to pick on you some more. Now, why don't we get to the real reason why you summoned me? I'm sure we can figure out some kind of solution for your problem. What could it be? Ah, it always is with you people. You always want something to love, something to love you back, and someone to be yours. First things first, why don't you tell me your name properly? No holding back or there wouldn't be any point in all this. If you want someone to love you, I might just have the solution. You don't seem to have anyone in particular you have a crush on, so all the more reason for me to help you in a different kind of way. Hmm. So let me get this straight. You're into the occult stuff, so you must be familiar with this whole wish-giving thing. Then I can be pretty blunt about it, can't I? I might as well. That way, you'll get a better grip on what this means. You'll be able to... Entertain me! I mean, uh, get your wish. I'm afraid hugging me is impossible, at least as you currently are. What's this about being my biggest fan? You came here for a wish, right? It, you, you can't wish for that. What do you think I am? Some kind of wish-granting genie? I can do some things, but at a price. And... You want me? Me of all things? You can't just... Hey, get back! You're starting to scare me. I never said you could do that. I... You can't touch me. But somehow, I get chills when you put your hands through me. Wait, say that again. You think I'm cool? <laughs> That's the best thing anyone's ever said to me before. I... I'll get your wish granted. I'll find a way to... be yours, I guess. You really want to be haunted by me. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. Never mind that for a second. Are you sure you could even handle being haunted by me? I'm a pretty demanding ghost, you know. And I might just take you as my... Ghostly love. <laughs> You're blushing. That's a good sign. A good sign that I can tease you, that is. You're serious? You're figuratively holding my hands. You can't lie on that. Then, I really am cool. That's the best thing anyone's ever said to me. I mean, <clears throat> everyone thinks that way, don't they? I am the coolest. That smug expression of yours tells a story. Shall we get to the nitty-gritty? The contract of sorts. I'm going to have my way with you. Deal? Deal! I thought so, too. Wait a second. You're not supposed to agree that fast. If you do, then there's no fun teasing you and you... You're too close again. 
You're inside my head. Literally. You don't know when to quit, do you? I like that about you. You remind me of myself. And that's the best compliment I could ever give you. <laughs> Look at you. So cute and small. I didn't expect to meet someone like you in this dreary place. Just kidding, I take pride in it. And you will too. If you're going to be with me, you're going to help me take care of this bathroom from now on. But not just the bathroom, no. We're going to take care of this whole school together. Otherwise, there might be consequences. And of course, we wouldn't want that now, would we? Unless we would, in which case, uh, what was I supposed to say? Oh, <clears throat> in that case, then we'd have to play a little game of it, wouldn't we? Better yet, let's play a game right now. I was bored anyways, and I couldn't wait to meet someone like you. It's going to be so much fun from here on out. Though you are a little creepy yourself. I mean that in a good way. Creepy like a ghost, L like me. And you're an admirer of me, so hey, put the knife away. No killing yourself. Just because you want to be closer to me doesn't mean you have to kill yourself. Instead, be my subordinate, and I'll put you through hell and back. Of course, a good kind of hell. The hell that's more like heaven. Whatever that's like. Hey, why are you trying to kiss inside my head? Do you think that makes us... Now you're trying to fit my outline. Good luck with that, because I'm slightly bigger than you. That's right, shrimp. I'm bigger than you. That's a good name for you, actually. You're my little shrimp, right? What a cute little shrimp. Aw, oh, is the shrimp gonna say something? I don't think so. Come on, shrimp. You can do better than that. Oh, you missed me. Oh, you missed me. Go ahead and try again, shrimpy shrimp. Aw, oh, what a cute little shrimpy shrimp. I love you now, but that doesn't change the fact that you brought this upon yourself. All of it. I mean, it was you who woke me from my slumber. Okay, I wasn't sleeping, but... You're the one who confessed your love to me. So, of course I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> you didn't actually think I'd let you go, did you? After you made all that effort to summon me, it'd be way too sad if I let you go right now, wouldn't it? You'd be so lost without me, too. <laughs> You'd be so... Bored and without someone you love. <laughs> Still, put away the knife. No becoming a ghost. I'm not having you actually be here like that. And I'm not going to have you kill yourself. Come on. That'd be too sad. You should cherish your life more. What? I think you should. So just shut up. Yeah, I said for you to shut up. Because you're getting out of hand. All I was doing was teasing you. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's what you came here for, isn't it? You came here to get teased by me, to play a game to get your wish. But your ungrateful wish made you my servant, so now you must become mine. In a sort of ghosty ghost way. I won't make you a ghost now, but after you die, your soul is mine. <laughs> Why do you look so excited about that? Uh, how am I going to deal with you? I don't even know. You... You... <clears throat> you always know what to say, don't you? Trying to creep out the ghost. Well, good luck with that. Shrimpy shrimp. Ah, who's the cute little shrimpy shrimp? That's you. Oh, I could do this all day. And there's nothing you can do about it, shrimp. <laughs> I've got more than bathrooms for you to clean. And also, since you're my subordinate now, you might just get your wish someday. I might just make you mine. And so what of it? Is there any problem with me doing that? I don't think you'd argue. No, no, a shrimpy shrimp like you couldn't argue from way down there. It doesn't matter that I'm floating. That's just the perks of being a ghost. It means I'm taller than you, nya nya. 
<laughs> Your reactions are so cute. I could just tease you all day. <laughs> then I guess you wouldn't be so much of a shrimp. You'd be too mushy for that. Oh, mushy, mushy, mushy. Should that be your name now? Are you my little mushy puppy? Aww. <laughs> I'm just kidding. More importantly, what is it you want from me? You weren't specific with your wish. You want me to love you? I told you I can't work miracles here. And while you may be fun to play with, it might be too much to ask for me to fall in love with you. And I could give you this nifty little book here, but it'll cost you your soul. <laughs> Did you actually believe me? Well, you got involved with me, so you understand the circumstances. And you're an occult specialist, so that makes it even more exciting. <laughs> Oh, and better yet, you're obsessed with me. So if it would make me sad, wouldn't you not do it? So never leave my side, okay? I'm glad we had that conversation. It's certainly one I wouldn't regret, and you shouldn't either. After all, in a way, you're already mine. Aren't you glad? Isn't it exciting? You get to be mine forever, even after you die. Oh, and don't expect to go back to your normal school life. I'm afraid I have too many things you need to do with me. Don't you want to spend time with your lovely future boyfriend? <laughs> you really are a shrimp, aren't you? Or is it another word that sounds like shrimp? <laughs> You're definitely shrimping for me, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll stop. Just kidding, I won't. You know you like the attention. And besides, I'll even take you on a date when it's all over. <laughs> Once you're my true subordinate, I'll be able to interact with you. You just gotta become supernatural first. Now, how do we do it? A vampire might suit you. Or maybe something else. Ah, but where would we find a vampire to bite you? And do you want to be one of those pesky sunlight-hating freaks? Just kidding, they're not that bad. I have three friends that are vampires. And only three of them are bad. Wait, that's all of them. Never mind. Guess they're all bad. <laughs> Put away the knife now. Put away the knife. We're not going to have you die right like this. Though it would make you a pretty hot ghost. But you still need to graduate. And more importantly, you need to have corporeal existence if you want to help me. It's not going to be easy if I can't. So we'll need something in between. But the question is, what have you always wanted to be? I'm bending the rules here a little bit, but I could make you a half ghost. That'll be interesting, right? You'll only be half dead, like a zombie. Is that acceptable? Or would you like me to turn you into an actual shrimp? I can do that. Don't forget it, shorty. Shorty makes short shorts. <laughs> You're blushing. How adorable. I didn't take you for someone who would blush so easy. Now it just makes my job that much easier. If you're that madly in love with me, that is. And then I get to tease you nonstop and make sure that I... Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't spoil all the secrets now, should I? Oh, that wouldn't be good. And as you are right now, you're just asking for me to tease you, aren't you, Shrimpy Shrimp? No, you're right. You've had enough teasing for one day. Now, how do we make you a half-ghost? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a vampire after all. Maybe you'll be the one good one. A 25% chance. So, would you take it for your undying love for me? I wonder. You seem excited just like me. So, where do we go from here, my love? <laughs> I bet that's what you wanted me to say. I can tell. You're so into me. And again, I guess it doesn't take someone with much perception to figure that out. You were trying to get inside of my ghostly body. But why? What do you plan to gain from that? 
He won't find my heart because I don't have one anymore. Oh, don't distress. We're just getting started with each other and the things we'll be able to experience since you'll be half dead and I'll be full dead. Oh, I've only been this way for over 50 years. <laughs> I'm not blaming you, not in the slightest. You excite me. You make my figurative blood boil if I had any. So, what comes first? You pledging your undying love to me? Or me toying with you until... Until you fall madly in love with me even more than you did? Isn't that right, shrimp? You know it's what you want. <laughs> Crazy. No, I'm just having fun. What would give you that idea, huh? No, 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 no. Just because you're a shrimpy, mushy, good-for-nothing doesn't mean you have to stay that way. I was only kidding about that. I promise. Maybe I was too mean to you. In which case, I'll make it up to you by giving you more work. <laughs> but seriously, why were you in love with me when you never even met me? Isn't that way too reckless? Or is it just that you wanted someone to love you like you said at the start? You were beating around the bush, weren't you? It was always me. I'm surprised you weren't disappointed. You were looking for Hanako-san the girl, right? Well, I'm Hanako-kun, so we might have a problem with that, unless you're just okay with either. In which case, no problems at all. I'll accept it either way, and if you don't accept it too bad because you're stuck with me, I'd never allow you to let me go back to being bored. That would be so boring. All right, I'll chant the forbidden words. Oh, I forgot them. Oh well, let's just make it happen. You go ahead and eat this. Yes, it's a vampire tooth. It'll either turn you into a zombie, a vampire, or something else. I don't know. Maybe it's not even a vampire tooth. But you could try eating it if you like. Unless, of course, you're scared, little shrimp. Just because you're short doesn't mean you can get away with anything. Aw, oh, come on. You know you love my company, so... Don't beat around the bush now. Let's have lots of fun together. Aww, you're so cute when you're like a kicked puppy, you know that? I might just be your biggest fan. And maybe an admirer if you play your cards right. We could date. Oh, you swallowed it without even thinking about it. I like your reckless abandon and your dedication to trust me even though I don't even trust me. Oh, there's the convulsions. Do stay conscious, won't you? It'd be a shame if we lost you right here. Ah, you have the best expression. Caught between life and death, aren't you? Ah, I live for moments like this. It's so fun. Wait, are you okay? Uh-oh. Did I go too far? I didn't mean to. I, um... <clears throat> wakey, wakey. I can touch you now. Now that you're supernatural too. <laughs> I think you made it. Though I'm not sure what you are. We'll figure that out later. For now, welcome to the other side. You'll still be able to go home and live your boring school life. But you'll still be a shrimp. Because you can't fly like me. <laughs> You're a lot cuter now, you know that? It's kind of interesting to me. How cute you've become since you became more... like me. Well, oh, now that you can touch me, I'm a little scared for... No, you can't just go kissing people like that. It's exhilarating, but I didn't give you permission for that. And you're my subordinate. It doesn't work the other way around. If you want to kiss... You're gonna have to earn it. Start cleaning, slave. Oh, sorry. I mean, won't you help me with a few errands? Then maybe I'll let you go for the day. Or maybe I'll keep you here forever. <laughs> <laughs>
Now that you've signed a contract with me, I can be a little nicer to you. Especially since you did such a good job cleaning. You're really well suited to this, aren't you? Are you sure this isn't what you've always wanted to be? The cleaner to the love of your life? <laughs> you can't touch me. What did I tell you about that? No more grabby hands. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You... That was a close one. You gotta keep your intentions in your head. Not that I'm accusing you of doing anything too crazy, but clinging to my leg is definitely not legal. It's just the way things have to be. Otherwise, what will happen? You'll end up too obsessed with me. You'll be drooling over my every word, and then you won't take orders as well. I need an obedient one, but not that obedient. Is that even obedience at that point? I'm not even sure, so we'll call it even. And for your promised date, you can go anywhere in the school grounds. Go ahead, pick your place. How is it you're feeling, by the way? I did rope you into all this, so I feel mildly like it's my responsibility to take care of you, of course. Care? Why would you think I care? I'm above caring. I... I maybe I do. And if I did, what would you do about it, little shrimp? You can't even reach me from up here. Nya nya. <laughs> you're so cute when you get a little frustrated. It's almost as cute as your face when you're blushing. I want to make you blush some more, so I might just... close the distance. <laughs> With me this close, the date's really begun. What do I mean to you? <laughs> Is that so? How is it you even found out about me? Is the rumor still going strong? <laughs> you really are into the occult too much, aren't you? Finding out so much you shouldn't. Though I'll forgive you, but this time... I'm gonna be the one kissing. <laughs> I stole your lips as a part of the pact. It's a necessary evil and... Hello? Are you okay, Shrimpy Shrimp? C come on. Wake up now. Uh, you didn't pass out on your date, did you? It's... frankly kind of chilling. Um, how fast you recovered when I said that word? I'm not complaining. It's just a little startling is all. I'm not used to someone like you being around. Most people have forgotten me by now, and I have to keep relations between everyone, uh, decent. We can't very well have this school overwhelmed by a million different ghosts now, can we? It'd be a shame. Well, I guess we could use one more with you. <laughs> I could probably tease you. Tease you something fierce. Because you deserve it. Yes, I'm not taking it back. You deserve it, and that's that. There's good reason for it, too. Mostly because you've made today so complicated. I'll admit you made it interesting. You entertained me, which is more than I can say from the last wishes. So maybe... We could kind of think of the prospect of not being alone, and you'll be my subordinate. Look, I'm not the nicest person, but I'm also not the meanest. So I'd like to think that this shrimpy shrimp over here can be mine. And whenever you want, you'll never be able to leave. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to let you out of my sight, but no, I can't let you do that. If I did, you'd probably end up finding a new ghost to fawn over. And we both know you're not sinful enough to cheat on me, right? You wouldn't do that. 
I'd be practically back, I mean, heartbroken. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things about me that I don't tell people, and you're asking the exact questions. Maybe I'll be able to tell you someday, but I'm afraid that day is not today. Not today at all. <laughs> You can't just kiss me. I I told you how I feel about that. I <laughs> Are you trying to purify me with kisses? That's the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> I like you. I could get used to this actually. I didn't expect it to be this addictive, but you may have just made a monster. Don't regret your choices. How do you like it, Shrimp? How do you like me being crazy about you? <laughs> I don't know if you do. You're a little crazy, but not enough. I bet I could teach you the ropes. <laughs> After you've worked for me and earned it, that is. I want to go on more dates with you, kiss you more. Ah, uh, uh, uh. I can't just let you have things that easy. You're going to have to work for my affection, though so I'm going to tease the hell out of you along the way, so do be a good sport about it, and just stand still. <laughs> Your reactions... When I hold you close, they're adorable. I love this. I could get used to using you more. Well, maybe it's not using. Since I do feel something when we're this close, my figurative heart beats faster. And ghosts can blush too, you know. Oh yeah? You think you can make me blush? <laughs> <laughs> You're rather confident, aren't you? Then be my guest. Go ahead and prove it. <laughs> I'm afraid kisses are too weak. Unless... <clears throat> oh, that certainly did the trick better than last time, but... You'll still have to try harder, I'm afraid. What's with your obsession with kissing in the first place? I had to kiss you for the contract, but that was it. You're so obsessed with it that it makes me think that you have less than earnest intentions with me, in which case I must declare to you I'm strictly a ghost meant for, well, wholesome things. I don't do non-wholesome, unless I'm teasing you. Ah, oh, what am I kidding? I don't need to do anything crazy. You blush if I do anything. I could just run my finger up your spine and... Uh, that was an unintended effect. Uh, are you okay? You passed out on me again. A shame you were out for two hours. Likely due from blood loss. Look at you. You're losing all your blood already. Why are you having nosebleeds? Didn't I tell you wholesome? Keep it wholesome already. Well, if you want a little less wholesome, I'll make your dreams come true. And I'll jump into your dreams, of course. Just if I see anything crazy, like you going too far, then I'm going to have to tease you in real life, too. Of course, that means this is personal. You think a ghost like me would stop here and now? You've gravely underestimated me, and I like that about you. But in truth, I'm not that bad. The reason why I'm even teasing you this much is I was bored, and feelings don't have anything to do with this. Clearly, I was just... I was just bored. Think what you like. It'll take a lot more than that to get me as your boyfriend. Isn't that right? Unless you intend to do something more. In which case, well, you 
you've got your work cut out for you, don't you? 